to Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. And Coach, it was a special week this past week. It was the Spirit of Indiana Showcase. They pass out all the major department awards. And actually, the two biggest volleyball players took home. Ashley Benson mm -hmm. was IU Athlete of the Year. We need to mention that, obviously, for Absolutely. her performance the previous season. And then the most important award, which is supposed to epitomize the student-athlete who represents the seven tenants of the Spirit of Indiana, the Director's Award, Mary Shadoyan, a big winner, and a, and a deserved winner. Yeah, I was really happy. I mean, that to me, you know, it's fantastic for Ashley to get the Athlete of the Year, but the Spirit of Indiana is really what Indiana is all about, and we talk about the tradition here and all those type of things, and, and Just Jade did a whole thing and, and actually uh, has a whole speech on there with Fred talking and a golfer talking about Mary and, and myself and then Mary. And it was just, it's such, it's a prestigious award for Mary. It's prestigious for the volleyball program, I think. And it just, um, it really introduces the importance of the 24 sports one team that I think is such a huge concept in our athletic department. You know, I've always thought the most dangerous space on earth is the 12 inches between Mary Shadoyan and a microphone. I was kind of surprised I was shocked. that she kind of held it to maybe two or three sentences in her acceptance speech. I thought that could go on for hours. You know, I mean, we think she's going to be president of the United States, so I thought that could be her platform to start it out. But um, I think she was shocked. I think she was shaking. I think she was very humbled by the award. Um, to be given that and so I think that that kind of took over when she got up there You know, she said I couldn't even think you know and but I thought she did a great job and she helped host a little bit of the awards Which which was really fun and obviously you hosted and and uh, I thought it was just a it's a really nice event For the kids to get recognized but also to dress up and all be together in, in one place There's another nice event coming up in about two weeks and that is commencement you've got several student-athletes who are going to be walking, if not graduating, in the yeah. next two weeks. They might be graduating over the course of the summer, but special group of seniors who are now going out in the real world, which is what it's all about. Yeah, to me, that's the most important thing. I mean, as we go through this, the volleyball is so important to us when they're here and everything, but um, it's time for them to get real jobs and be difference makers and be leaders out in society and, and really give back to communities, and I think that's what we, we preach so much while they're here, and we hope they take that all with them. Lindsay will graduate and be done and looking for a teaching job, and Caitlin will walk but graduate at the end of the summer. And Kristen Seaton, who you know started her master's degree just this past year, will actually finish her master's degree at the end of the summer, and Mary will graduate next December after finishing a minor. So um, they've all done very well in school, and it's just so nice to see them you know take the next step, which which is what you hope as a parent, as a coach, all those type of things that they're moving on in their life. I hope I accurately describe this. I've only seen the flyer on the wall. There's a new contraption here in IU Athletics called the Bob Pod, Bob Pod. which student-athletes, some mid-level administrators, <laughs> will uh, immerse. Did you do it? I have scheduled to do it. I'm going I'm to try to figure it out. Figure yes, it out. Bob Pod. Yes, I'm going to figure I'm it out. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm going to find out, unfortunately, that I'm half water, which <laughs> is not a good thing. But uh, student-athletes... Uh, immerse themselves in water, and they're able to mathematically calculate the amount of muscle gain and muscle density and all that kind of stuff, and you got surprisingly excellent results from your student-athletes from this spring working yeah. out with Chris Virtue. You know, we did it right in January when they returned from Christmas and after season and everything, and really wanted to get an accurate feel of how our off-season spring training, which is in-season for strength and conditioning for, for Chris, and we were, we were so excited, and I think it was such great motivation. On an average, um, the players gained about 10 pounds of muscle and lost, you know, four, five, six pounds of body fat and only gained, you know, three or four pounds of weight. So, you know, when you look at that and, and you think, and I, this is probably our toughest spring we've had, and I think that was such great motivation for our players. And they, I, you know, it was really cool. Sometimes, you know, they're always like, oh, we don't want to get big. You know, girls are always saying that. Now they're walking around, like, showing their guns to everybody. They want pictures taken of them. Like, they feel good about themselves. They look fantastic. They are physically so much stronger, which will only help us in the fall with injuries and things like that that we look at um, and just sustaining through long matches. So I'm really excited. We'll do another bod pod at the end of the summer to kind of see how this whole summer goes there here, so I think they'll be working out every morning together. You mentioned guns. I hear a couple guns. student athletes have developed them. Whitney, especially Whitney, I mean, is just someone that her upper body strength has always been something we preach to her, and 
she really took that as a responsibility and, and owned it, you know, this past spring. And it has made, it, it's just all about hard work. You know, you look at it and, you know, we're always telling them this in the weight room and here. If you want to get better at something, you put the time in. You put the hard work in. And to see them put that kind of hard work in. And somebody like Sam, you know, has been here three years. And to see the type of progress she made, I think she put on 11 pounds of muscle. You know, and she just looks like a different person right now. So I'm just really thrilled for them that the hard work paid off. Quick summary of your thoughts about how the team performed this spring on the court. You know, we still have ways to go. I think it was a great starting point for us. We worked a ton on changing some tempos of our offense, the mentality on defense. I think all those type of things really started to transpire. Again, physically, I think we made some great strides. Now I think the ownership will come to them this summer, and, and we'll see how they come back in August. But they're here all summer. And they are really motivated to get better. So I hope they take what we've given them and really put it into to act themselves this summer. I was going to ask you what you're doing this summer. Any special plans beyond being in your car or on flights <laughs> uh, connecting at Indianapolis International Airport to go out and see recruits? Well, a lot of recruiting. You know, Junior Olympics and AAUs, all those type of things, and a couple tournaments in Chicago. May is kind of a dead month for volleyball, which we're all excited about because we will definitely get away for some vacation time. I, I think that's really good for our staff to, to do that. We'll also go on a staff retreat in July, which I always enjoy. It's just a great brainstorming two or three days of talking about the upcoming season and going through offenses and defenses and just things to get done prior to preseason, then a multitude of camps. Um, part of June and then all of July. So it'll be a busy summer. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of Groundhog Day. We do the same thing pretty much every summer. But this summer, I'm really motivated about the team. I mean, I really see some good things coming out of them chemistry-wise and then just um, individually what they want to accomplish, you know. So I think, I think it's really fun to start thinking about some of our options in the fall. All right, this is the last show of the 2011-2012 school year. It's going to be a great 2012-2013. want to see everyone come out to Gym. Listen online to the games at iuhoosiers.com. And Greg Murray is going to be hosting this show yeah. next year, the new play-by-play -play voice for Indiana Volleyball. And, Coach, so thanks so much for allowing me to kind of fill the I chair here this spring. Well, you know, you started with us, and so we'll kind of bring you back every once in a while and get you on the Old-timers day. Old-timers day. And our schedule's online right now, so you can go on and – and look, we're hosting a couple tournaments in the fall so they can get on and, and find out when they can start packing the gym for us. All right. Thanks so much for watching Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. One, two, wonders.